eating breakfast. Again, we're not extremely balanced here, but at least we're eating. Mm. It's cold. That is really cold. So my family's coming over today, um, which I'm super excited about because I haven't seen them since last year. Well, you know what I mean, but like <laughs> I haven't seen them since the holidays. Um, I usually don't buy bacon. I usually don't buy meat, but I started craving it after I had it at a friend's house. And now I'm like, okay. I'll buy it, but I bought it on a discount, so it made me feel better, <laughs> you know? I try to eat like alternative animal products when I can, but today we're not perfect. We're never perfect, actually. Specifically, my mom and my sister and my nieces are coming. It's a girl's day. And I'm really excited because um, I've just been needing that. I've just been needing that and craving that in my life. Uh, the bacon I got from Ralph's and the waffle I got from Trader Joe's, for anybody who thinks that Trader Joe's is expensive, because I I used to believe that as well. There's a myth, okay? They don't want us to go to Trader Joe's because it's healthier alternatives, but it's actually the more affordable grocery store. I do not miss the scrambling, not scrambling, but like the scrambling you have when you make YouTube videos to like finish a video so you can just be like, like work on the next one. You guys know my family's coming over so I'm trying to finish it so I can be like mentally clear. I think I'm just also like a little bit, not panicked, but a little stressed with um, hosting, especially family members. I'm like, okay, well, first of all, my place is not like, entirely clean or ready for visitors, let alone my mom and my sister and my three nieces. So I'm like, girl, it's usually just me and Bella here and we very simple, but you know, I just like wanna make them proud, I guess, and, and make them not worry, like know that I'm okay. But me being okay looks different to other people thinking I'm okay. So I still have like shit around my apartment, which is not cool, not not the vibe, not the vibe. They also said, don't worry about it. Like, whatever, we're simple. And I'm like, okay. They're still gonna make fun of me for it. Just watch. It's not even like scissors, it's a razor uh, because I have this haircut. My hairstylist usually just cuts my hair with this, so that's what I'm doing. This is not under her permission, but well, you know, you know what we gotta do when we're bored. Yeah, you know when you just like are itching for some change or, or like some control? Hmm, that's more like it. That's probably what it is. That's the vibe. 
think we're just gonna go for it, honestly. I don't know. Oh my god. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay, cool. I mean, that's like too easy, you know? fascinating to me that I recorded this video and it just being like all about I don't know I feel like my womanhood I feel like this era in my life has been about finding my womanhood and like I don't know I feel like I'll get into that in the next vlog I feel like this vlog was very random my family came and you know when you just like kind of like the holidays it just like kind of throws you off of your routine actually the weekend that they came over was also the weekend of the full moon i believe in leo was it full moon in leo yeah it was full moon in leo i know my shit i love that the trajectory of this video was like embracing my womanhood and like being with the closest women in my life and then going into like a full moon ritual of me, you know, writing down what I wanted to let go. And I've been having a lot of fun and like, I've just been really enjoying participating in the phases of the moon and kind of using that to like put in, either put in the next energy for new moons and manifest that or release negative or stuck energy during full moons which is crazy because tonight is actually a new moon in pisces and so i'm like just thinking of things that i want to put forward and i had been sitting on this vlog for a little while because after i recorded it i kind of had like a really interesting really emotional week where i was just like you know processing a lot of things i think when you're around family it, it being around them and stuff it makes me very vulnerable and sensitive and like i just can't help but re, re not revert back to like childhood me but think about my childhood and like reflect and stuff and and you know my childhood is very like sensitive to me and and it's something that i'm still like processing and you know getting to know um how that has shaped me to who i am today you gotta allow yourself to like process relax and rest after or during and then you get back to like your normal routine of like 
being able to like create and care for yourself in your full effort you know during really emotional weeks i feel like you know i'm barely doing like the minimum of taking care of myself now days i'm like doing that and a little bit more yeah i just wanted to like end off the vlog because i know it was kind of everywhere and i love how it was also during the full moon so you see my ritual but it's funny because i wanted to like really feel this change and so i ended up cutting my hair which i feel like was very like full moon of me i've just been reading about how we all connect and as a woman like how women connect to the full moon and i feel like the more you listen to what's going on in the universe outside of us and how that can affect your lived experience everything just starts to make a lot more sense there's only one way to overcome your emotions and it's to to go through them and to ride the wave yeah well i hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you guys so much for being here i appreciate you all so so much and i will see you guys in the next video don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you haven't already and um also follow me on instagram and tiktok because i have been uploading on there as well so yeah thank you guys so much i hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day slash week yeah i'll talk to you guys in the next one bye